Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. My name is James and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. I'm really excited today to share with you my thoughts on a recent pickup from the Criterion Flash Sale. I picked up four titles in this uh, recent February Criterion Flash Sale and I am really excited to share with you today my thoughts on this outstanding release from Criterion Smooth Talk. I tell you what, this is a fantastic release from Criterion. Really excited to share with you my thoughts on this particular edition from the Criterion Collection. And I'm very, very happy that I picked this up as part of this February flash sale. So without any further ado, let's jump right into this. So Smooth Talk is a 1985 film directed by Joyce Chopra starring Laura Dern and Treat Williams. This is Laura Dern's feature film debut. And this film is based on the Joyce Carol Oates short story, Where Are You Going? Where Have You Been? So in her feature film debut, Laura Dern plays 15-year-old Connie, a young adolescent girl who's finding herself with her interest in boys and, and growing into herself as a person, as well as her strained relationships with her mother, her older sister, and her seemingly clueless father. So I'll read the Criterion summary here on the back. It says, suspended between carefree youth and the harsh realities of the adult world, a teenage girl experiences an unsettling awakening in this haunting vision of innocence lost. Based on Joyce Carol Oates' celebrated short story, Where Are You Going? Where Have You Been? The narrative debut from Joyce Chopra features a revelatory breakout performance by Laura Dern as Connie, the 15-year-old black sheep of her family, whose summertime idyll of beach trips, mall hangouts, and innocent flirtations is shattered by an encounter with the mysterious stranger, a memorably menacing Treat Williams. Winner of the Grand Jury Prize at Sundance, Smooth Talk captures the thrill and terror of adolescent sexual exploration, and it transforms the conventions of a coming of age story into something altogether more troubling and profound. So the summary on the back of this Criterion Edition perfectly encapsulates what this movie's about. And I don't wanna go into a lot of the plot details in this film, because this is something that you really should experience for yourself. And this movie clocks in at 91 minutes, so it doesn't require a lot of time. You can pretty easily take this in in one sitting. It's not some two and a half, three hour movie, which is nice. It's, it's a fairly short watch and it is a fantastic slow burn of a film for the first 45 minutes to about an hour, which then sets up for a very tense last part of this film that you really have to see for yourself. It is just a fantastic film from a world building standpoint, from a production design standpoint. And I really, I just have to say, I was really drawn into this 1980s world that Joyce Chopra and her team put together for this movie that is surrounding this young girl and her experiences at this time of her life. And this movie does such a fantastic job of setting that scene and putting you in a realistic place and really putting you in her shoes and in some ways see and experience the world through her eyes and through her lens and really see her self-discovery and give you an idea of what she's experiencing, what she's going through at this very pivotal point in her life. So man, this movie has so much going for it that makes this just an absolutely awesome viewing experience. First of all, it's based off of the short story from Joyce Carol Oates, which is a very interesting read. And secondly, it's adapted for the screen by screenwriter Tom Cole. So the material is absolutely fantastic. The actors in this film do an amazing job of portraying their characters, starting with Laura Dern, who infuses a lot of depth and emotion and substance to her character of Connie. Mary Kay Place does a fantastic job portraying Connie's mother. And Treat Williams turns in a fantastic performance as the menacing Arthur friend in this film. A lot went into the production design of this particular movie, led by production designer David Wasco, who is an Academy Award winner. And he and his team did a great job scouting the different locations in this film, including the house that Connie and her family lived in, Frank's, which is the hamburger and hot dog hangout place, the mall where she hung out with her friends, and just other locations in this film. So these locations were carefully scouted from a production design standpoint to be in line and in concert with the Joyce Carol Oates short story, as well as the mid 80s vibe that this film is going for here. So they did a great job in setting the world building for this film and really putting you in a real place that Connie is living in and really setting the stage for the entire movie and what ended up being for me a surprisingly 
thrilling and satisfying ending. One of the supplements on this disc is an interview with production designer David Wasco. It's just one of several amazing supplements on this disc that you really need to check out. Really gives you some insight into production design and what goes into that and how important it is in establishing place in a movie. So highly recommend checking that out. So overall, I really enjoyed this film. This is a fantastic watch from Joyce Chopra and just a fantastic acting performance from Laura Dern in her feature film debut. She, she injected so much depth into this 15 year old girl's character, Connie. And I, I was just very impressed with her performance in this movie as well as Mary Kay Place and the entire cast. They all were perfectly cast for this particular movie and I, I just thoroughly enjoyed that. And I really love the slow burn setup of this film, that it really gave you a chance to inhabit this place and be in this world and really see this world through Connie's eyes and experience this world as she's experiencing it. And I really appreciated that. And it really set things up for a pretty harrowing end in this movie. I mean, it's, it really takes you by surprise how much of a slow burn it is in the beginning. And it leads to what becomes a pretty menacing, thrilling end. So I thought that was fascinating. And I highly recommend just watching this film and just going in with knowing as little as possible and just experiencing it for yourself. Music is a big part of setting the mood and the tone of this story. And the James Taylor soundtrack in this movie is absolutely fantastic. There are two songs in particular that I will bring to your attention. One is Handyman and the other is Is That The Way You Look? Those two songs along with the rest of the soundtrack for this film really set the mood for this movie. And along with the production design, the acting, and everything else just really sets the mood for this movie and really puts you in that place. So I really enjoyed the music from James Taylor in this film and it kind of reminded me of, of course, James Taylor's only appearance from an acting standpoint, I think, is in the 1971 film Two Lane Blacktop, which has a release from the Criterion Collection that you ought to check out. That's actually one of my top 25 favorite movies of all time. So. Highly recommend that you check out Tulane Blacktop as well. But James Taylor contributed a lot of the music for Smooth Talk and it's part of what makes this a fantastic film. So definitely check out that music. It is, it's really good and it really helps to set the mood for this story. Okay, so let's talk about the video and audio presentation on this Criterion Collection edition. So basically Smooth Talk from the Criterion Collection is a new restored 4K digital transfer supervised by director Joyce Chopra with uncompressed monaural soundtrack. So as I said many times before, I love the fact that it's a 4K digital transfer. Of course, I wish that it was actually on a 4K Ultra HD disc, but that's a discussion for another time. But it's a 4K digital transfer supervised by the director, by Joyce Chopra. I always love to see supervised by the director because then you know that what you're seeing is the director's vision, how that director wants the movie to look. So I really like that. And it's an uncompressed monaural soundtrack. So overall, how does this film look on Blu-ray? It looks great, okay? I played it on my 65 inch TV here and I also on a smaller TV, and the picture looks absolutely fantastic. This is a 4K scan of the original camera negative or the OCN. I always love to see a 4K scan of the original camera negative because that's gonna be the best possible image that you can get based upon current technology, and it really shows on the screen. I mean, this film looks absolutely fantastic from a picture quality standpoint. They did a great job cleaning up this film and it makes this 35 year old movie look almost brand new. I mean, it, it looks almost as if it could have been filmed in the last couple of years. That's how good this film looks on Blu-ray. It's clean, the detail is great, the picture is absolutely clean and I couldn't see anything at all wrong with the image. I didn't see any blemishes, any dirt, any specks. I didn't see anything. It just looked clean and detailed and sharp and organic. And it's all the things that you would expect in a film that's been scanned in 4K from the original camera negative and fully restored and cleaned up. This picture has all those elements going for it and it looks absolutely fantastic. So high marks for Criterion for a superior image for this film. 
it looks absolutely stunning on Blu-ray. From an audio standpoint, the uncompressed monaural soundtrack does the job. It sounds great. You can hear the dialogue really well. The music sounds really good on this Blu-ray. This is not a 5.1 or 7.1 surround or Dolby Atmos type of a soundtrack. It's not that advanced, but it does the job in delivering the audio that you need to hear from the people's voices and what they're saying, from the music in this film. It all sounds just fine and the uncompressed monaural soundtrack does the job. So really have no complaints from an audio standpoint. So from a technical standpoint, from a video and audio standpoint, got no complaints with this title. Smooth Talk looks and sounds great. Okay, so let's talk a minute about the supplements because the supplements are part of what in my mind, make this one of the best editions from Criterion, one of the best single editions from Criterion that I've seen in a while. I mean, this is an absolutely fantastic edition from Criterion from a supplement standpoint. You've got a conversation among Chopra, author Joyce Carol Oates, and actor Laura Dern from the 2020 New York Film Festival, moderated by Turner Classic Movies host Alicia Malone. Alicia Malone is a host on a number of features on this on this Criterion Edition. And this is a conversation, this was done last year during the pandemic, so it was a Zoom call. And you've got the director Chopra, Joyce Carol Oates, who wrote the short story, and actor Laura Dern, really giving their thoughts on the experiences in writing the story, and directing the story, and acting, and just really bringing this Joyce Carol Oates story to life on the big screen and just hearing their thoughts in this conversation with Alicia Malone is it's just fantastic. You really, really need to see it. And so I highly recommend that. Uh, you get another interview with director uh, Chopra on here. That's very good. You also have another conversation hosted by Alicia Malone with director Chopra and actor Treat Williams and Mary Kay Place. Remember, Treat Williams was the menacing Arthur friend and Mary Kay Place played Connie's mother in this film. And so Alicia Malone hosts that Zoom call, which is very good. You've got an interview with production designer David Wasco on here. And then you've got a radio interview with Chopra from 1985, which was around the time that Smooth Talk was released. Now, I wanna bring your attention to what I think are some features that really, really take this edition to another level. One is Joyce at 34, Girls at 12, and Chloray and Alby. So these are three short films by, by Joyce Chopra. And I highly recommend that you watch these short films. These three short films from Joyce Chopra portray women at different stages of life as they're navigating the challenges of life at these different stages. And so I highly recommend it. I mean, Joyce at 34 literally stars herself giving birth to her daughter uh, in 1971. And it, that's a very fascinating watch as she is balancing motherhood and her career as a director. You've got Girls at 12, which is following uh, some you know, preteen girls during challenges in their life. So you've got Joyce at 34 years old, you've got a, a one of girls at 12, preteen girls, and then you've got Chloray and Alby, which is from 1975, which involves two African-American women in their early 20s dealing with the challenges of work, raising kids at that stage of their life. So I highly recommend checking out those three short films by Joyce Chopra. They're fantastic. You have an audio reading of the 1966 Life Magazine article, The Pied Piper of Tucson, which inspired the short story by Joyce Carol Oates. You got trailers and, and other features on here. So the supplements on this disc are what takes this release to an absolute next level. It really makes this, for me, one of the best editions that I've seen from Criterion in a long time. And I simply cannot recommend it enough. I am so happy that I picked this up as part of the flash sale, and I highly, highly recommend checking out this title from Criterion. If you look on the inside, you've got, of course you pull out the book, you've got an actual stapled booklet, which I absolutely love. You've got a nice little picture here on the inside of, of, of Frank's and Laura Dern's character Connie and her friends looking at uh, Frank's hamburger and hot dog joint, so that's a pretty cool picture there. In the, uh, in the cover. And then the booklet itself is a stapled booklet. And inside you have some pictures, which are nice. You have a picture sort of in the beginning of the movie. 
and, and the, at the end of the movie, really talking about the evolution of her character. You have the cast here. You've got a number of essays in here. And then also a very, very important inclusion in here is the actual short story from Joyce Carol Oates. Where are you going? Where have you been? And that's actually included in here. So the short story that inspires this film is actually included in this edition. So that's just an absolutely fantastic inclusion. This is just a great, a great overall package from Criterion that I cannot recommend enough. And to be honest with you, as I fast forward several months down the line and you know, perhaps putting together a top 10 list for 2021, I would be surprised if this was not in that top 10. So if Smooth Talk is not in my top 10 for 2021, then Criterion has had an absolutely stellar year. I cannot imagine this not being in my top 10, but we shall see. That's how good this edition is. I absolutely love this edition. Smooth Talk, directed by Joyce Chopra, highly recommended. You may wanna note that the Joyce at 34 short film that appears on this edition of Smooth Talk also appeared on the recently released edition from Criterion directed by Claudia Wilde, Girlfriends. So Joyce at 34 appears on this edition as well because Joyce Chopra and Claudia Wilde co-directed Joyce at 34. So if you don't already have Smooth Talk, but you have Girlfriends from Criterion, definitely check out Joyce at 34 on this edition. It's a fantastic watch that I highly recommend. All right, so there you have it. Those are my thoughts on Smooth Talk, the recently released edition from the Criterion Collection. I can't say enough good things about this edition. This is just an absolutely fantastic film. I think it's a great cautionary tale that I think every young person should see. It is that good of a film. I love the performances from all the actors, including Laura Dern, Mary Kay Place, Treat Williams. I think the production design and the overall world building for this film were absolutely fantastic. And the video and audio presentation looks great, sounds great, and the supplements are just a killer package. So overall, this is just a fantastic addition from Criterion that I just can't say enough good things about. I really enjoyed it. and. I would be surprised if it doesn't appear on my top 10 list at the end of 2021, but we shall see. This is a long year for Criterion. 2020 was a great year, expecting 2021 to be a great year as well for Criterion, so we shall see. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Smooth Talk? Have you seen it? What do you think of this movie? Do you have this edition from Criterion? If so, what do you think of this edition from Criterion? And also let me know in the comments below what other titles have you picked up in this recent February flash sale? And what titles from Criterion are you most looking forward to seeing later this year? I'm really looking forward to that Wong Kar Wai box set that's coming out in a few weeks. So what titles in addition to Criterion are you most looking forward to seeing later this year? As always, thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Peace.